all you. And LeBron James trying to will his Cavaliers team to its first title. He sat us down. Um, you know. well, when someone like LeBron talks about what you need to bring to the table, you, you better bring it. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. You'd be better served to go right along with what he's talking about. And of the new big three, along with Kyrie, I think if they just keep following LeBron's lead and advice, well, the sky's the limit. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. And for the Thunder guys, what stands out to you so far? I just like the way they're getting out in the open floor, taking advantage of all those fast break chances here early on. I agree with you, Greg. I mean, they can run, and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. Irving is out there with Matthew Delavido. Then it's Dallenberg. Then there's Tristan Thompson. That's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. Castaneda. Freak with it. He's picked up by Irving. And he hits it from deep. Three points there from Freak. Freak's got eight points. You know, the defense was lax right there, and he's able to make them pay. Irving attacking over to the wing. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. The shot misses. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Freak kicks to Ibaka. Durant wide open. He fires. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Cavaliers had a huge game. He had 46 points, and he got there with his usual way. Just an impressive barrage of threes. What a show it was as he put up some really amazing numbers when it was all said and done. Even we marveled at his performance, Kevin. Thanks for the great report, Doris. Uh, guys, uh, the way he carried them that night, I thought was truly incredible. Uh, unreal. I mean, he was literally on another planet in that game. He did it all on the floor. What's interesting to me, guys, is to see how much energy he's able to play with here tonight. I mean, his legs still have to be a little heavy from that last game. They haven't had as much success in the paint here. Everything is from the perimeter. They're settling too much for what's going on on the outside. They've got to get back to getting it inside. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. And it's Thompson with the jam. A signature slam right there from the big fella. How many of those have we seen before? Freak with it. He's against Smith. Fordham. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Man, that is a missed opportunity right there. And he'll be the first to tell you, Greg, that's one he should have knocked down. And he gets it back. And he recovers it. And it's Smith missing. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. And both free throws good from Freak. Five seconds left to play here in the half. James, that's a two-pointer. So we've reached the... Guys, I'm here with Kevin Love, and Kevin facing a deficit at...